How to Cram for the Final Exam What is cramming? Cramming is the act of working immensely to learn a lot of information in a short duration. It is common among students when there is a forthcoming test and is usually done a day or some days before the exam. Why do students cram for the final exam? In our experience as academic helpers, cramming is a common undertaking among students, and some of the main reasons why they engage in this behavior are as follows. 1. Procrastination. 2. They believe they will not recall information when they read early. 3. They have not been taught the best studying approaches. 4. They believe that cramming is the best option. Step-by-step -step guide for how to cram for the final exam. Step 1. Choose a study space. What do you do when you are left with a few hours before the exam starts? The first thing is to find a study space. The space ought to be comfortable and have zero disturbances. Distractions from family, friends, and even pets. Also, make sure you turn your phone off and gather all the necessary sustenance before you sit down to cram. Turning off your phone will prevent your phone's notifications from distracting you. You can put your phone in airplane mode if you are using it to study. Step 2. Make a study plan. Now that you have created a study space, the next thing you should do is develop a study plan. Take your calendar and identify the time you have left up to the exam. Calculate how much time you can dedicate to studying, be realistic when setting the plan. Know that you need time to sleep, relax, eat, etc. So, you should also set time for these activities when making the study plan. Step 3. Determine what has more priority, you should determine what the test will cover and prioritize that section. There are many ways you can estimate what the exam will cover. The typical method is to ask your instructor. Some of the questions you can ask your instructor is, Hello, which section will the exam focus on? Any tips? What chapters will the exam evaluate? In many instances, they will not give you the specifics but will give you a good direction on what to read. Though, at times they may tell you to read everything. Step 4. Make notes of what you are studying, you will need to review everything that you have studied. To make the review process quick and easy, make notes when learning. The notes should be very brief, you may opt to use flashcards. You can create digital flashcards by using platforms like Brainscape. Or you can make paper flashcards if it's more convenient for you. Step 5. Review the notes in the morning, it is vital to review what you have studied. During the day of the exam, you may be tempted to cover new grounds and not go through what you learned. You should not take this route, instead, start by reviewing, reviewing will help to prevent the evaporation of what you learned. After you complete reviewing, you may now cover new ground, reviewing will help to prevent the evaporation of what you learned. After you complete reviewing, you may now cover new ground. How do you exploit the most of a cram session? One. Engage all your senses while cramming, the more senses and emotions are used during cramming, the more you will remember. So, go out of your way and use as many senses as possible. Some of the ways of using your senses are, explain things to yourself, read aloud, use hand motions, use a funny accent, change the pace of reading. 2. Space out repetitions, you should take a break before reviewing something you have already read. It has been proven that we learn better when we space the study repetitions instead of clustering them, it is even better when you randomize the order of repetitions. For instance, if you started with subject A, subject B, then you ended up with subject C. Do not follow the same order when reviewing the subjects. 3. Study in a familiar context, what happens when you walk into a familiar place? Most of the time, some old memory will come up. We are trying to say that if you mimic the exam environment while cramming, chances are high that you will get more memories of what you study, we understand that there is a bit of psychology here. But the point is, try to make the atmosphere of your study space resemble what will be in the exam setting. You can mimic things like sound, temperature, smell, etc. For instance, if the exam room is excessively quiet, make your study space as quiet as the exam room.
4. Get enough sleep, we need to get enough for our brains to function optimally. Sleep deprivation limits the capability of your brain to carry out tasks, including cramming. Therefore, don't sacrifice your sleep to get more time for cramming. Skipping on sleep is counterproductive.